Like, if I was a vegan <laughs> when I was at school, like... You would have got bullied. I would have got bullied. I would have got bullied. I, I probably would have bullied them. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. We're Pineapple with Kale. I'm Rachel and this is David and we're back. We're back on your screens. Today we're just going to be doing a QA. and a We're going to be answering some of the questions which we get asked all of the time. Why did you become a vegan? For quite a few years now I've been quite conscious of what I'm putting into my body. Before going vegan I was a pescatarian for a few years and it was something which I knew I was sort of gradually working towards. And then I went to South America where I was eating a lot of cheese and I was just feeling really rubbish to be honest. Um, I felt weak, I felt my stomach wasn't good. And then when I came back to England, I was just like, you know what, I need to detox. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go vegan for two weeks. I didn't really stop being vegan <laughs> after that to be honest. So me like, I'd met two vegan people before and I didn't really understand why they were vegan or I didn't really understand their reasonings behind it and I'd ask them all like the typical questions but it wasn't until like I had this impulsive day where I just like researched how the meat ended up on my plate and when I really looked into it it really unsettled me and made me feel quite upset and I'm, I'm quite a sensitive person and just seeing the, the cruelty in the animals it like it broke my heart and then the next day I was like cool that's it I'm going vegan and what I've really enjoyed is I'm always learning new things about being vegan, like the health benefits, like they just excite me because I'm like, oh, look at all this that I'm getting from this lifestyle choice that I've made and the sustainable environment benefits, like everything just makes sense more. And I'm, I'm really loving it. And it was a great choice. What are the main benefits that you guys have noticed since becoming vegan? Oh, I get asked this question all the time. Uh, the main benefits for me, you just feel lighter. You can eat even more than you were eating before and you'll feel full for like five minutes, but it just, it just passes through you, man. It feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> like that's one of my favorite benefits about being vegan. Definitely. Um, I mean, obviously, cause you're eating vegetables and stuff, your body digests the food a lot quicker, a lot more easily. So, I mean, you will be going to the toilet a lot more than you were before. I was going to the toilet without going into too much detail, like maybe- Too late. <laughs> maybe like once every few days now it's like you're young twice a day and i'm only mentioning this because if you think about carrying that food around like say i've eat one meal and it takes three days to digest i'm carrying a lot of weight inside my body if you're going to the toilet like twice a day you're constantly light you'll so you just feel a lot better a lot more energetic also my skin got a lot better my nails grow <laughs> really long and they're a lot thicker and stronger than they used to be so i can only account that in relation to my hair and my skin that it's all just in a healthier stronger place than it was before yeah and i've joined beard gang as well is being vegan expensive in my opinion no it doesn't need to be expensive i actually find that i spend less money if you're vegan and you're use, eating like raw natural ingredients you're just getting vegetables you're getting beans you're getting lentils and you're getting the pure ingredients and you're making a meal out of it it's not expensive it's only when you start buying processed vegan foods that it's it's got a hefty price tag a can of beans is like a pound maximum but you can get it for like 30p in, in morrison's it doesn't have to be basically, it's just up to you. Obviously the nature of vegans is uh, they tend to be a bit more conscious of what they're putting in their bodies so maybe they're eating more organic, um, more sort of specialty food items like chia seeds and sea moss or whatever. So if you're eating like that, it's, yeah, it might be more expensive but um, it, it really depends on your budget. Yeah. It's really expensive compared to like grains and vegetables and everything so yeah, no. Doesn't it take up all of your time? I think it takes just as much time as you would be cooking if you weren't vegan. I think if you pick your recipes well and you prepare it well and you know what you want to eat and you have it ready, you have it in the fridge, it's not going to take more time. I think it's the adjustment of going from not being vegan to being vegan. But once you're there, it, it doesn't take you more time at all. Yeah, it's really about building your knowledge base. So. When I was starting off, I was spending a lot of time researching like recipes and spending a lot more time than I would be cooking. But 
you know, after a few months, you get to learn what you can eat. You get to learn your quick meals, your go-to meals. For lunch, I'll, I'll cook extra the night before and then eat that for lunch. So it's not like I'm flapping around for lunch. I just have a quick breakfast and then cook in the evening. Don't you ever miss meat? I never ate like beef or anything. It just wasn't for me. Like I grew up with mad cow. And my mum always just pushed me away from beef, so it wasn't natural to me. Oh, I, but... th <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I thought you said you like, had mad cow. Like <laughs> I grew up with the mad cow. <laughs> like it was around. It was in the media. Like don't eat beef. Don't like I never had a McDonald's oh, beef. But, but anyway, mad cow um, isn't funny, by the way. No. So I thought it would be hard for me to get over chicken and not eat chicken, but it turned out as soon as I decided what diet choice I was going to make vegan, it just was fine. I don't miss or crave any meat, so no. I don't think you do either, do you? I mean, it, it is a process, like, uh, you do miss stuff at first because, you know, you, you, you've changed your diet, but it takes a while to change your mentality as well. Occasionally, I might like the idea of fish, but then if it was actually in front of me, um, I, it wouldn't attract me at all. And I don't, you know, if my friend's eating it next to me, it's, it's not something I'm like, oh, like, because <laughs> I've got something nice on my plate or even nicer on my plate. So, nah. <laughs> I'm all right. Have you lost a lot of weight since going vegan? This is interesting because we've just had this conversation with our cameraman. It depends on your calorie intake. Um, did you? I lost, I did lose a significant amount of weight when I first went vegan. You know, naturally I was intaking a lot less calories than I was when I was eating meat. But I think after a while my body just adjusted to the amount of calories that I was intaking and I've since put weight back on. You know, there's this myth that vegans are like really skinny and stuff, but there's now plenty of athletes and bodybuilders who are like, wham, they're wham, they're killing it. So yeah, I don't, I don't think you necessarily go skinny when you go vegan, but there might be an initial adjustment. I'm quite a gym crazy person, so I've lost weight gradually. But I think one of the key things I noticed for myself when I went vegan is I've always kind of struggled with weight and I naturally have like a bit of a cellulite bum thigh area and going vegan, I lost the cellulite, like it, my skin firmed up. <laughs> we appreciate that <laughs> here in the vegan community where do you even get your protein from breath breath but if it's not from meat where is it from where, where do we where do we get our protein from rich protein in animals is essentially like recycled protein like protein is in everything like from your vegetables to your your black beans, your kidney beans, your pinto bean, your camelini be beans, from your lentils to uh -huh. your quinoa to your hemp seeds to what your else? chia seeds to your Brazilian nuts to your cashews to your peat. I could go on for days! One cup, mm. one singular cup of black beans is 15 grams of protein. And in one meal, I would have more than that. Like your protein adds up in what you're eating through the natural things you're gonna eat on your vegan diet and you're not gonna be lacking if you're having a well-balanced vegan diet. And there's this massive myth about protein that we need a lot more than we actually do. Like, you know, by bodybuilding magazines and corporations selling like shitty protein shakes, which fuck up your summer. Had um, an experience there, David? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one went, went to my heart. heart. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do feel like I still need protein and you're going to the gym and you are trying to get your gains and you're finding it hard to get a well-balanced amount of protein, there are vegan protein powders from pea protein and things like that. So there are backups there and they yeah. taste just fine. What's the most difficult thing about being vegan? Being social. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Going out to restaurants with your friends and you're that awkward one that's looking on the menu and, oh, is there anything for me? No, there's not. And then oh. your friends are looking for something for you. And, and you're that like, awkward conversation with the waiter. Oh. Like, By the way, I'm vegan. <laughs> Thing is, I'm lactose intolerant and I have been for quite a while. So before I went vegan, I already had it with, oh, is there butter in this? Is there milk in this? Because I can't have it. And it's just so annoying it's being long. that person <laughs> you, you just want to order like you just want to read the menu and just order but unfortunately it's just one of the things you have to do because whilst like society's taken a big step towards accepting sort of vegans we've still got a long way to go i find also going to people's houses as well like um family friends and family i 
can't really expect them to cook separate meals for me as well. So sometimes I'll have to sort of take my own meal round or pasta and pesto. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I'm good, guys. I, I got a meal. I'm fine. I don't need yeah. anything. How did your family and friends react to you becoming vegan? My mum uh, has always been a bit of a, a health freak. She actually wanted to kind of bring me up on a more like vegetarian diet, but she always felt like that was wrong and that's not how you should raise your children because that's not healthy. So she didn't do it and she kind of finds it funny that now I'm vegan. So when I told her she was more excited for my journey, it kind of worked out well for me because she studied nutrition. It was helpful, it was kind of like having sports. My grandma kind of thought I was not going to survive. Um, she still calls me to ask if I've eaten because she's worried that I haven't. <laughs> she's going to watch this and be like, Rachel! But um, my friends, like, cool, fine. But I, a lot of people have more things to deal with, but for me, it was, it was quite easy. Yeah, I had a little bit of resistance from my mum. Oh God, this thing's annoying me, mate. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a little bit of resistance from my mum. I mean, she's pescatarian, so, you know, we were eating fish in our house before but she felt going vegan was extreme and not good for me and now she eats a lot of what I eat because um, you know we live together and we cook for each other and you know she can see that I'm healthy she can see that I'm happy and she's a lot more accepting of it now um, like Rachel is more the older generations like my grandparents who sort of had a real problem with it like my granddad actually got quite upset when I told him because He's from a generation where, you know, meat is a staple part of your diet. And, you know, he's like, well, I've got to 87 and I'm in good health. Why are you cutting this out of your diet? So that was a bit difficult, but it's, it's just one of those things, really. You've got to do what's right for yourself. Thank you all for watching our video. Don't forget, if you have any other questions for me and David, leave them in the comments below. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that button down there. And we will be back with you very shortly.